Hi class, so today we are going to discuss a new lesson, but this is related to our lesson last time, which is prime numbers. Okay, prime factorization. So what is prime factorization? So it is a way of writing or expressing a number as a product of prime factors. Okay, so it can be done by using uh, factor 3 or by continuous division. So all composite numbers, we can um, get its prime factorization. All right, let's start. Let us use factor 3 and continuous division. So find the prime factorization of 16. So the given number is 16. So we can use um, factor 3 or continuous division. So it's up to you. Um, the result is just the same or the answer is just the same. So for factor 3, so it's like this. So let's say 16, the given number is 16. First thing to do is you write 16 like this. And then um, draw this one. All right. So think of uh, two factors of 16 except one in itself. Okay, so what are the numbers that when you multiply, the answer is 16. So we have um, 2 times 8. Right? Or we can also use 4 times 4. So either of the two, it's just the same. The answer is just the same. So, all right, let's use, uh, let's do both. Okay. So as you can see here, 2 and 8. 2 is a prime number. So let's encircle it. So a short, a quick review. When we say prime number, the factors is 1 and itself. So like 2, factors of 2 is, are 1 and itself, 1 times 2. Okay? So that's why we need to encircle 2 because it's already a prime number. The prime, uh, I mean prime factors, okay? And then 8. 8 is a composite number. So a composite number, it has two or more factors. So it, it has 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. So let's do, uh, let's use 2 times 4. Because 1 times 8 is not allowed. Okay, 2 times so again, 2 is a prime number, so encircle it. So you need to do is to encircle the prime factor. Okay, so 2 is a prime number, so encircle that. And then next, 4. 4 is not yet a prime number, so it is um, composite. It means it has two or more factors. So what are the factors of um, 4 aside from 1 times 4? So it has 2 times 2. So, that's it. We are done. So, the end part is, uh, I mean, look at the tail. It is all prime numbers. Okay. Let's try this um, another way. So, 4 times 4, another factors of 16, which is 4 times 4, or 4 and 4. So, 4 and 4, they are still composite numbers. So, we can still make it like this. So 2 times 2 is 4. So in circle that is already prime. And then 2 times 2, another 2 times 2 is 4. So you can see it's just the same. Okay. So if it is um it has more uh factors, just pick one pairs and you use it to get the prime factorization. So let us write the prime factorization of 16. So we will write it like this. So write 16 again, and then equal, equal sign, and then arrange the prime, fact, uh, prime factors from smallest to highest. So since they are all the same, 2, so we'll write it like this. So we can use x, 2 times 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, times 2, times 2. Sorry, and writing is not so good. <laughs> So this is the prime factor, prime factorization of 16. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Or we can write it using um, the dot. In math, that 
it stands for multiplication. So, or 2 times 2 times 2. Alright? So, if you multiply to get again, if you will multiply this prime factors, the answer is 16. Okay? So, how will you do that? One at a time. 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 2, 16. Alright? So, this is the answer. Now, how are we going to use continuous division to get the prime factorization? So, the answer is just the same, but I'll just show you how to do it. So, continuous division, it means you're, you're going to divide it until you reach the end. So, the given number is 16. So, write 16. And like this, it's like the upside down multiplication house, a uh, division house. So, think of um, factors. What is a prime factor of 16? So, we have uh, 1 is not, so 2. Okay? So, 16 divided by 2 is 8. And then 8 is not yet a prime number. So, divide it again by each prime, num uh, prime factor. So, we have 2 again. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. 4 is not yet a prime number, so think of another prime factor of a uh, prime factor of 4, which is 2, and then 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is the answer. So let's just write it as a prime factor. Uh, let us write it like this. So if you will write it, it's just the same. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So the same answer. The prime factorization of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. All right. I hope you were able to follow the example. If not, don't worry. We'll have another example. Let's, let's do 50. So for 50, there are other um, factors. We have 10 times 5 and there is a 25 times 2. So whichever is easier for you to use, you can use that. So for me, I will use for 50, okay, I will use 10 and 5 because it comes to my mind first. And it's easier. <laughs> so 5, encircle it because it's already a prime number. So encircle um, the prime factor, okay? So 10 is not yet. It is a composite number. Okay, so I'm just going to write it here so that you will be guided. Why is 10 not yet uh, encircled? Okay? Now we haven't encircled yet 10 because it's, it is it is a composite number. So we can find again the numbers that when you multiply it, the answer is 10. So we have 2 and 5. Right? 2 times 5 is 10. 2 is prime. So in circle, and 5, of course, is prime. So in circle, so as, as you can see, all of the encircled numbers are prime numbers or the prime factors. Now we can write it like this. So 50 is equal to, again, from smallest to highest. So the smallest prime factor is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So you need to arrange it from smallest to highest. So 2 times 5 times 5 or you can also use x 2 times 5 times 5. So this is the answer. So if you will check 5 times 5 is 25, 25 times 2 is 50. Okay? That's it. And then next is continuous division. So how to do continuous division? So just write 50 and the upside down division house. Think of a number. Uh, what? Think of a number. Uh, prime factor of 50. So I will use 5 still. So 5 times 10. Or five, uh, 50 divided by 5 is 10. Okay? And then 10 is still a composite number. So divide it by, we can do 5. And you can also do 5. We can um, exchange it. Swap like 
two times five, I mean two here and then five here, or just like this, five, two. And this is already the answer. You can write it like this, it's the same. Okay? Ayan. So it's up to you. So if you want to use factor three, go ahead. If you want to use the continuous division because you find it easier, then it's okay. As long as we arrive at the same answer, no problem. All right? And let's have another example. 24. So 24, it has so many fa uh, factor pairs, but I will use the ECS for me. So the first factors or pair factor pair of factors that comes to my mind is 2 times 12. Right? 2 times 12 is 24. And then 2, um, 2 is already a prime number. So I will encircle that. And 12 is not yet. So this is uh, composite. So I will still find its factors. So the factors of 12 are... I want 2 again and 6, so in circle again 2, because it's already a prime number. And 6 is composite. So I'm just writing here composite and prime so that you will be guided. But if you will do it on your own, you don't need to write prime, composite, something like that. Okay, this is just to show you why it is not yet in circle. Alright, so 6. What are the factors of 6? So I will do 2 and 3. So 2 is prime. 3 is prime. So in circle it also. And we are already done. So what is the clue that we are already done? If the number, if the all the numbers or the last number is already encircled. Alright. And all you have to do is to write again 24. And then arrange it from smallest to highest. So the smallest is 2. So there are 3. 3 twos. And the last is 3. Or you can do 2 dot 2. Okay. And sorry. This is 3. Okay, let me erase that. So that you will not be confused. It looks like 2. There you go. So it's 3. And this is already the answer. So again, you will choose only if you will use X or dot. Okay. And for continuous division, still the same. 24 divided by, I want to divide it by 2. So the answer is 12. 12, I want to divide it again by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 6 divided again by 2. The answer is 3. And these are the prime factors. We call this prime factors. 2, 2, 2, 3. Okay? I hope you are able to get it and follow. So for the next example, I will just show you the way, but I will not be writing anymore. Prime and composite number. Okay, next is 18. So for 18, the first number that comes into my mind is 2 times 9. So again, 2 is prime, so encircle that. 9 is not yet, so we'll find another number, or the, we will find the factors of 9, so we have 3 and 3. And then encircle. 3 is prime, 3 is prime, so we're done. So we have 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. All right. And for continuous division, it's just the same. 18, I want to divide it by 2. So the answer is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And this is the answer. See, it's very easy. So same thing. Just write 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. So the... Uh, if you will look at it, if you will check the answer, it's just the same. Again, choose one method and use it. Alright. Last example is 54. So for 54, 
there is you can find the easy na easiest factors so for 54 the first thing that comes to my mind is 9 and 6 okay 9 and 6 as you can see here 9 is na is L, a composite number so it's still composite because it has more than two factors it's also composite so we will not encircle any number in 6 and 9. What are we going to do? We will continue the factor 3 method. To find the factors of 9, we have 3 times 3. So 3 is prime, so encircle that. 6 and 6, uh, factors of 6, we have 2 times 3. Okay, 2 times 3. So it has times here. It has times here. Here and it has time here nine times six like that. All right. So now we have the prime factorization. So we have fifty four is equal to from smallest to times three times three times three. This is the answer. And for continuous division, still the same. Write fifty four and Think of a number that you can use to um, get the prime factors of 54 to so 9. In here, I use 9 and 6, but I cannot. I will not be use. I will not use it here because the answer is would be not different, and the prime factors and 9 and 6 are opposite numbers. So I will think of another number. Um. If you're having a hard time, you can start from the lowest, which is 2, not 1, okay? 1 is not uh, prime. 1 is neither prime nor composite. So start with 2, the smallest prime number. So 2, since this is an even number, it can be divided by 2. So 54 divided by 2. So we have 27. Okay, and you can solve it, you can solve it manually. It's up to you. And then 27, 27 can be divided by another prime number. So 2 is not because this is not even number, 27. How about 3? 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, yes, it can be divided by 3. So na, uh, 27 divided by 3 is 9. And then 9 can be divided by another prime number, which is and I mean the same prime number which is 3 and then 9 divided by 3 is 3 all right and this is already the answer so see if you will check it uh, if you will write it it will be from smallest so 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 just the same all right and that's all for prime factorization see you in class Stay safe, everyone. Bye.